Jacqueline Smith was not murdered by a panhandler on December 1st, 2018. Her stepdaughter Valeria Smith told the jury today her father did it, stabbed his wife Jacqueline Smith to death in their car in Druid Hill Park while Valeria was in the back seat. Quote, he stabbed her. I saw blood on his hands, she testified. He went into the woods with the knife in his hands, and when he came back out, he didn't have the knife. He did return from the woods, though, with the story they would tell police, Valeria Smith told the jury, that a panhandler stabbed Jacqueline. And then, Valeria says, after that, her father got back in the car, said nothing to Jacqueline, but put a towel over her head and drove to East Baltimore to call 911. What was his demeanor before the call, the prosecutor asked? He was calm, Valeria said. And then, after the 911 call said, he was acting like he was trying to cry. After the murder, Valeria told the jury, her father asked her to get rid of Jacqueline's wallet, put it down a storm drain, and she did. She said he moved to Florida. They communicated over an encrypted messaging app and by phone too. And in March 2019, he called her and said, they were moving to Mexico. Before he picked her up in West Baltimore, she bought a journal at the dollar store and she wrote entries during the drive, read some of those excerpts out loud in court, including, quote, I am officially on the run and this is crazy and I am so carsick. There was no mention in those journal entries of the victim, Jacqueline Smith. During cross-examination, Valeria Smith told the defense that she was high before, during, and after the murder and on the drive to Mexico. The defense tried to paint Ms. Smith as an opportunist who would do anything to stay out of prison. Ms. Smith has pleaded guilty to helping her father cover up the crime, and she faces 10 years in prison at her sentencing December 13th. Reporting from the Mitchell Courthouse tonight, I'm Kate Amara, WBAL TV 11 News.